Hey, how are you doing? It's 30 Ezio. And I'm gonna tell you what I saw. You know, I'm coming back from the gym here, and every day I've been passing by this place. And there's a lot of shenanigans going on in here. So what I was starting to think, and I did some surveillance and some research for a few days, and I found out where they are testing the hamsters to cool CPUs. Now, if you look up over here, this is called Fancy Cal's Exotic Pet Shop. It's in Port Ritchie, Florida, okay? It's off of 52. This is where they're testing out the hamsters. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside, we're gonna go into the back of the lab. Once we go into the back of the lab, we're gonna see what they got. And then I arranged for us to interview one of the professors, you know, one of the lab guys. And he's gonna talk about how they train these hamsters to cool the CPUs. So let's go. So we're in the back here, and this is the back part of the lab. And as you can see, we got some different types of hamsters here. We got some small ones. These guys are moving around a lot. I don't know. It looks like, you know, they're Mexican jumping beans or something. Then we go to the bottom ones, and they're a little bit bigger. And then we go over this way, and they got blue ones. I don't know what blue ones do, but evidently they must do something because they're blue. Then we go down to the bottom. These things, they're a little bit smaller, but I hear that they grow bigger. And then of course, when we come over to this side, we got the big ones here in the corners. We got some white ones, we got gray ones, we got some calico ones and everything like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to the front and we're gonna talk to Professor Tippy here. Professor Tippy is gonna give us the lowdown on how to do these things. So let's go up front. Right. So, we're over here with Professor Tippy, and Professor Tippy is gonna go over a few things with us, but first let me give you a little bit of history about CPU cool. When CPUs first came out, they put a little fan on top of it. That was it. Then, after a while, they started putting heat sinks and then a fan. Then you got into these extravagant heat sinks that were about this big, and they sometimes don't fit into a case. But, Later on, they came out with water cooling units. And then you put the water on it and you put it in a block there and you put it on top. But recently we have found out that by using animals, some types of critters, and feeding them beans, what happens is you could actually cool your computer more efficiently and with less electricity than if you were doing it the old fashioned way. So, Professor Tim, let me ask you a question. So how, how basically does this work? Well, basically, you feed the hamsters the beans and they toot. And they toot at 69 pounds per square inch. And we have different sizes and different cooling systems. And depending on the size of your CPU, we'll cool your system down. Now, for an enthusiast level CPU, I know you probably go big, but what about if you're using one of them CPUs that's maybe, say, I don't know, in a small system or something like that. I see you got some things here, so how do these work? Well, basically, we take the little jumping bean cooling system. We take our little Mexican jumping bean little dwarf hamster, as you can see. We stick them in, and now you want to make sure we have different styles of beans per st different uh, pounds per square inch. Now, for the little bit of jumping Mexican bean, we will do the refried beans and he should cool your system properly. Now my question is this, so do you put a door in front of the thing so the hamster doesn't, doesn't you know, like kind of walk around? Because I can see that right now you don't have a door in front of it and he's kind of walking around in there. But, you know, my, I, got a, I got a question. Since they're, you know, kind of farting in the damn thing, is there a problem if, uh, you know, if there's a spark or something like that? How, does, how do you get the air out? I mean, you know, is there there's something to depressurize the system? Well, basically, we have this system created, and we're still working the, techn the technology out, but when they fought, it pushes our little propeller here, which causes the cooling. And with the uh, exiting of the pressure, you don't have any worries about sparks. Oh, I got you. Now, okay, so, you know, like we have this one here. So that's for a small unit. Now, I see that you got another one 
and this one is a little bit bigger. So is this goal more towards like a home type of system or something? And how does this one work? So yeah, why? basically we put the same one in, but this is for your like basic home office or a regular homework computer. Then we take our little next size up, which is what we call our little blue fart guy. And he farts, has about like 169 pounds per square inch. And we stick him in and feed him the chili because we feel that the chili beans actually produce a little more methane. So that's how you cool your home and home office computer. So by using the methane and getting it down inside on top of the CPU, you're basically saying that it cools a little bit better than the last one because that one was using the Mexican stuff over here. Now we, got, we still got some kind of Mexican stuff here, but you know, hey, it's chili beans. But now my question would be, since you got all this going on, what do you do when they take a dump inside the, the case? Or does, do, they, do they not take a dump? Well, they do take a dump, but actually we're in the process of making a methane gas chamber that you take the feces and stick it in there with a little bit of moisture and it creates a vacuum and produces extra methane, so you're actually recycling the beans and the poop. Now that I would call genius, you know? All right, so now we go from that one and now we're gonna go to, to an enthusiast level system, which needs a lot. So of course, you know, you're gonna cool it down and you got this thing here. Now I'm assuming you could put one, two, how many, four hamsters in this thing? Well, depending on, I'm assuming the upgraded version, you probably gotta have a gamer or a home server computer. So we'll start with the bigger system and we have our larger hamster and we can put up to probably five or six in here. And depending on the need and power restraints of your computer system, goes by that. And with that feeding source, we'll do the dark kidney beans. Dark kidney beans. So how, how many pounds per square inch of methane does that produce per, per minute or per hour? Uh, I think we're, what we're looking at, we're looking at about 250 per, per hamster. So if you have a really huge computer, get about six in there, you're looking at about a thousand pounds per square inch. Wow. And now, you know, as for cooling, you know, like regular room temperature for a CPU, you know, regular, you know, on idle speed without putting a load on it while you're playing games, you're talking about maybe 30 degrees Celsius. And then a lot of times with regular, you know, CPU coolers, you go ahead, you put a load on that, and you know, you get up to sometimes, I guess you could say 80 to 90 degrees Celsius. But now, you're trying to tell me that by putting more in here, you could actually lower the CPU temperature? What is it, you know, with say three or four? If, if usually with the other types of units, they're, they're 80 degrees Celsius, what are, what are you cooling it down to? I would, I would say we would probably reduce the temperature by 50 to 80%. Wow. Now, I will tell you, the marbles of science. So everybody, now you've seen it. Now you can tell that they are doing some hard work here in Port Ritchie, Florida at Fancy Tales Exotic Pet Shop. We got Professor Tippy here, we got, we got the critters, we got the animals. So, for future reference, if you want to know a little bit more about this, why don't you visit www.hightechlegion.com. Of course, you're going to want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com front slash hightechlegion. And then Facebook, we got facebook.com HTL reviews. And of course, Twitter, twitter.com hightechlegion. Thank you, everybody. You have a great day. I will see you the next time. Bye-bye.